Whether you are searching for a novel, a new story, or a video to watch for entertainment purposes, you use titles of these materials to decide which one to pick. A good title could always attract your attention. The same goes with research titles. In this video, I would like to share with you tips on what makes a good research title. Stay tuned if you want to know how to make an appealing title for your target audience. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Maggie with a new vlog on research titles. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell to keep yourself updated with new vlogs in this channel. Thank you for tuning in. Now let's talk about writing research title tip number one. A good thesis title indicates the research design which will be used in the study. Sometimes, it is explicitly stated which means the specific research design used is included in the title. An example of which is shown here, bullying in school, colon, case study of prevention and psychopedagogical correction. In this study, the research design was explicitly stated. This is a case study, obviously. In other cases, it is just implied. You may be asking yourself this by now. Do you need to really indicate this explicitly or implicitly in your title? Well, if you want to tell your readers right away whether you're doing a qualitative or quantitative study, this is highly recommended because some of your readers may be looking for a particular type of research. For example, they are only interested with quantitative or just qualitative studies. By providing or suggesting this information in your title, you may be attracting the appropriate audience for your research who could cite your study in their studies later on. Remember nowadays, it is not enough to simply publish papers in reputable journals. You need to have your work cited if you want to stay relevant in the academe. In this example, the research design is explicitly stated. It states that the researchers did a meta-analysis. In meta-analysis, the data come from multiple studies that address the same research problem. Here, the researchers do not directly gather their data from a specific group of respondents. Instead, they rely on previous data of previous studies to come up with conclusions about that body of research. In this example, the research design was implied. The word correlates signifies that the researchers did a quantitative analysis of their data because correlates connotes a relationship between or among variables. Here goes my tip number two. A good thesis title includes the key variables of your study. So remember the independent and dependent variables that we talked about last time? So by doing this, you are providing your readers substantial information as to what the study is all about. This is very important because some readers do not have time to check your abstract to know what variables you have explored in your research. By giving this information in your title, your readers could instantly decide whether it is worth their time to check the details of your research. Why do you need to make life easier for your readers? Well, there are millions of studies available online and offline. You have tons of competition. Therefore, you need to make your work as appealing as possible to potential people who could cite your work. In this example, the variables included are school bullying and academic achievement. From the title alone, you know that the researchers looked into these variables. The word impact connotes or implies that they assessed the effect of school bullying on students' academic achievement. Another good thing that the researchers did here is including who the respondents are. By saying from teachers' point of view, we readers know that the participants of this study are teachers. Like the first example, this research title also mentioned the variables of the study, and these are bullying, victimization, and family violence. We also know 
that the study participants were Chinese middle school students and probably this was conducted in China as well. So we got a lot of information about the topic by simply reading the title of this research article. In other words, this is an example of a good research title because it contains important elements of the research in just two lines. Similar to the first two examples, this research title also mentioned the variables of the study, and these are bullying and physical relationship violence. We also know that the study participants were New York City High School students, just like with the previous study involving the Chinese middle, middle school students this one also included the study participants and they were New York City High School students. This is also an example of a good research title because it, oh, it mentions the um, study variables at the same time who the participants are and it also gives us hints as to where the study was conducted. A good thesis title suggests or implies a relationship between or among variables. Is it a null relationship? Meaning, are the variables not related to one another at all? Is it a covariant relationship? Which means, does a change in one variable result to a change in another variable? Does it imply a causal relationship? Which means, does one variable causes the other variable? And in addition, does one variable predict the occurrence of another variable? This criteria or criterion is applicable to quantitative research. Simply by reading the title, we know that the researchers looked into the relationship between the quality of life, school bullying, and suicide among adolescents with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. The word correlations in the title is an explicit expression of what the authors of this article did for their data analysis. This is obviously a quantitative study. In this example, the variables of the study are depressive symptoms, suicidality, bullying involvement, frustration intolerance, and hostility. The word rose after the column suggested relationships of the variables that followed with depressive symptoms and suicidality. Just like with the other examples, this also indicated the variables' relationships with one another. So in this particular criterion, this research title satisfies the given requirement because it shows the relationship of variables with one another. You must understand that a thesis title is usually expressed as a phrase or question but rarely as an exclamatory sentence. An exclamatory sentence is a type of sentence that ends with an exclamation point. Usually, when you make an exclamatory sentence, you are uh, doing this to convey a, an intense emotion. And in a research title, usually you don't see one. Although there's no rule that says you cannot make an exclamatory sentence as your research title. Take a look at the example here. A colon was used as well as a comma and a question mark. The first two punctuation marks, a colon and a comma, are often seen in research titles. However, a question mark in an empirical research title is a rare occurrence. In this example, the question mark clarifies what the focus is all about. It also deviates from the usual boring way of expressing titles. As I mentioned a while ago, a colon is usually used to call readers' attention to a particular element of a research done by the authors. It helps us understand instantly what the researchers did in the study. Take a look at this example, the effectiveness of policy interventions for school bullying, colon, a systematic review. If you are like me, the first thing you would notice is the phrase after the colon, a systematic review. A systematic review for those who are not familiar with the terminology, is a type of literature review wherein a specific set of criteria is used to decide on the inclusion of certain studies. 
For example, you would say you will only include quantitative studies about school bullying done in Southeast Asia in the last five years. So all other studies that do not satisfy all of these criteria are not included in the systematic review. This title, The Effectiveness of Policy Interventions for School Bullying, colon, a Systematic Review, is a good title because at a glance you would know that the study is a literature review. Therefore, if you are looking for an empirical research, the one in which data were gathered directly by the researchers themselves, then you could decide right away to skip this article after reading the title. The last tip that I will share with you today on how to make good research titles has to do with the length of your title. According to the APA Manual 6th edition, a good research title should be no more than 12 words. Long titles may be difficult to understand. Since there are tons of research papers out there, we need to make our research titles easy to remember and appealing to readers as well. Though APA suggests only a maximum of 12 words, it does not necessarily mean that a title with 13 words is not acceptable. Whether your title is the right, right length or not, consider this. Count the number of lines your title occupies when you type it in Word. If it's more than two lines, consider revising it. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something from this vlog. And if you like this vlog, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more vlogs about this in the future.